people have told us you can't do this. And right from the beginning, this company started making people think differently about ballet. All those people in 1969 who were dancing for Dance Theatre of Harlem wanted to see a future for dancers of color. And Arthur Mitchell really made it possible for us to, to realize our dream. And he held us to a very high standard so that when people looked at us, they said, okay, that, that is what it should look like. Ten years later, 1979, people started coming into Dance Theatre of Harlem, young dancers who were well-trained and who were beautiful dancers of color who knew they belonged in there. This was the first company that I really actually saw perform. I saw them at the Kennedy Center uh, doing Apollo and just all of these, you know, bodies that looked like mine, I guess. There's this conversation about um, race and dance and the stigma of they just won't blend in in your sea of swans. <laughs> okay, I went to see a purple swan in my imagination. I think African Americans are more muscular, have more muscle definition, and that's not necessarily always an acceptable aesthetic for ballet. Um, the coarseness of the hair, uh, that's not very convenient for ballet. I used to dread putting my hair in a fringe twist because I was like, I look like a dinosaur. My hair doesn't do that. It doesn't do what is classically acceptable all the time. Growing up, my mother is white and my father is black. And um, going to school, I always kind of felt like the, the, the sore thumb, the, the swollen one, the one that didn't fit in. So the dance world has always been something that's been very embracing for me. I've always felt like I was an equal in the dance world. And as long as I worked hard, then I could be something. And it didn't matter that I was black. It didn't matter that I was white. A lot has changed recently. Um, our touring company was put on hiatus back in 2004 and was gone from the touring stage for eight years. And during that time, you didn't see on the stage other dancers of color, and I think that's kind of slowed the process down. What I've seen in the, the three years that the company has been back is that we're starting to see more and more young dancers who are coming in here ready to go. You know, not just ready in their heads, but with the right amount of training. So it's, it takes 10 years to, to make a ballet dancer. You can't just suddenly change your policy and think that you can open the door and there are going to be dancers there. You have to train them. You have to have a pipeline. So we're in the pipeline zone. And it's very exciting because there are talented young people who are given the chance to actually develop as artists. We're on the cusp of something really dramatic happening. We're very much on the brink of it. Being a brown ballerina isn't always a negative thing. A lot of young girls hear people saying that it's such a struggle and you know people are going to put you down and it's discouraging and they need to hear that people are successful because they work hard. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. 